unique things. A Bite With Me is a local catering company specializing in delicious and healthy Korean-Mexican fusion dishes on a mission to create educational awareness one bite at a time. Robin Klingerman, and I'm not even going to embarrass myself <laughs> by saying, I want you to introduce yourself. Heidel Aleman. Heidel, oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to mess it up. Are with us this morning to share details about their business while showing off some of their delicious food. And I am the lucky, lucky beneficiary. So you guys are going to be a part of Best Week Ever. That's right. And do yeah. you have a food truck? Is that right? Not yet. That is oh, our that's, goal. That, oh, that's the goal mm -hmm. to have a food truck. So how are you going, where are you going to be at for Best Week Ever? So we're starting this Sunday at Rebel Arts Vest. Oh, we just talked about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we'll be kind of near the pavilion so okay. people can sit and eat That's after awesome. they grab their bites. Um, we'll also be at Best Wednesday on the west side okay. and the NNN Arts Cafe on the following so Sunday. a couple of opportunities there to get some of this yummy stuff that we're going to dive into. You're going to make a little something for us this morning, right? Yes. Okay. This is our K-Noodle dish. It's a sweet potato glass noodle. Um, mm -hmm. It's our take on the traditional chapche, which is a Korean dish. Um, I know that I've disappointed some Korean grandmothers before when they've come and they're like, you know, <laughs> oh. chapche is supposed to be very bland, you know? Oh, and I said, oh, it doesn't look anything well, bland about this. I like no. flavor, so I yeah. end up reducing the sauce for about three, four hours and add all these beautiful caramelized shallots, garlic, ginger. We add lots of veggies to it. Um, and yeah. So one of the things that struck me before we um, went on that you said this is gluten free. It is gluten free. And so, um, and, and it's, is it vegetarian or are we putting it's meat in vegan. here? It's vegan. Okay, so it's, it's okay. Yeah. So yeah, so for those of you who are like a little conscious about those kind of things, this is a great opportunity. Uh, so I, <laughs> you know, when you, I'm, I'm not so like, I don't know, ad adventure some in the kitchen, like, you know, more like classic, I guess, but, you know, like putting things together that don't like normally like in our minds go together. How do you create this like fusion? Like, where do you come up with your ideas to put, oh, you know, Korean and Mexican together and how's that work? Well, my partner, <laughs> Hiro, he's Mexican and I'm Korean adopted. So funny thing is he taught me this first Korean dish when we first got together <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. we ended up just pairing our cuisines together. Um, I have more of a passion for the vegan vegetarian cooking. He likes the meat options and mm -hmm. we just blended it. I think it. I'm on your page. Meat yeah. options. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but this is a great opportunity and it is, is a unique thing and so you know a lot of times people are afraid to maybe, I don't know, afraid to be adventuresome and try things. Mm -hmm. We gotta like step out of our shell a little bit, right? Yep. And, oh, and yeah. give it a try. Yeah, and we also, uh, for anyone, so we gave out these cards um, to people, 50, 50 cards. So anyone who holds these cards and comes out to Rebels Art Fest will get 10% off their purchase. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Look, yeah. I have a card. That means I get 10% off. I'm not giving that's it back right. to you. Yeah. No, these I mean, are so that's cool. That's for you, man. Um, so talk to me about the future. Oh, can I taste this while we're talking? Yeah. yeah. Is that like a thing? I only no. brought oh chopsticks, though. Only brought sorry. I can't do that on TV. It's uh. going to be a hot mess. Oh, I'll try. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you talk, and you don't focus on me, people. <laughs> so what's the future hold? <clears throat> so um, we often source from our local farms, try to keep it local organic, and we want to be you able want to, to pair, yes. um, bring the community together. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Keep talking. We're, <laughs> Sorry, we're yes. interested in not just um, me being fed. We want to bring okay. more awareness for people of like where you can source beautiful, organic, oh. local ingredients and how we can help okay. oh. build okay. our community. Gotta have a um, oh. In the future to get the uh, food truck and possibly a 501c3 so that we can give part of the proceeds back to the farms and local businesses. Idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you heard it here. There's three opportunities for you to get this. Now, you won't get the full experience because this dude is not coming to feed you like he did me. But yeah. <clears throat> I need a, a fork. <laughs> we'll, we'll bring one next time. Thank you. Next time we'll bring I'm embarrassed to say I need a fork, but I need a fork. And this is so good. And I'm not like, I mean, I am like, the, I like, like meat and mm -hmm. that kind of thing. So I would never think to order this. Mm -hmm. um, but I would be making a mistake not to order this. It's super, super good. Wow. Awesome, and thank you. Yeah, right. And so, 
would you say that this is a traditional traditional um, thing that you do? But what's your most like like most asked for or sought after thing? Um, it's definitely the Korean noodles. Um, the meat option would be the quesadillas, which we're offering at Rebel Arts Fest. Slow braised grass-fed beef that we stuff with kimchi and we serve it with a consomme dipping sauce. Oh my uh, gosh, broth. All these words sound so. Oh fancy. my gosh, it's so good. Oh, and yeah. the vegan nachos, I think, are also a, a huge seller. Um, yeah, yep, those are the pic yeah. Yeah, look at those pictures, folks. I mean, mm -hmm. if you're not, if your mouth isn't watering and you don't have your little calendar out, thinking, when can I? <laughs> find these people this week, um, you're making a mistake because this is so good and so good for you. Yes. That's, the, boy, that doesn't often happen. Yeah, we're right. also at Notre Dame inside the stadium for Notre Dame football games. Wow. So people can find us there and if they want something different than the traditional hot dog and right. you know, chips, cookie, whatever, yeah. we've, we've got or, it. Or just, you know, outside the box a little bit. add to it. You could have mm -hmm. both, the yeah. hot dog and yeah. this. So what is a, is, I'm gonna put, throw a, uh, curveball to you. Um, what is a Korean Mexican fusion dessert? So we did a <laughs> pop up at Dainey Maid where <laughs> oh. Jairo <laughs> helped um, wrap wow. taboki as like a rice cake okay. in Korean and we deep fried it and made it into like a Mexican churro oh. with a Mexican chocolate sauce that we we sourced the chocolate from Violet Sky and fused it with some chilies some and chilies, yeah. it was fantastic. Well, you heard it here, <laughs> and you can get it this week three different places. So check out, and w we have a phone number and a website that we can drive you to these folks. A Bite With Me, how cute is that? 574-276-3055, abitewithme.net. And they're also on Facebook, and you want to check it out and find an opportunity to get some of this food for yourself. And uh, if you're not, if you're as awkward as I am with chopsticks, pack a fork. <laughs>